Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Cantor Mark Backrack, and it's in the huge privilege and joy to officiate the wedding today of Sherry Deeds and John McCloskey. They'll be here in just a few moments, so let's wait for them. Talk amongst yourselves. To the wedding of John McCloskey and Sherry Deeds. Today, Saturday, April 18th, 2020. This is the day they actually plan to get married and what a miracle it is. For just last week on Easter Sunday, when Andrea Bocelli was singing in Milan, alone with just an accompanist and touching all our hearts all over the world, Sherry was singing live at the Center for Spiritual Living from her home on a broadcast. I just happened to see it. Just happened to see Andrea and just remembered that Reverend Sherry Altmark, who's here today, had one marriage license left in the entire state of California. So through the miracle of music, through the miracle of clean living, and through the miracle that is our connection to the one, Sherry and John, are not only spiritually committing themselves today, they are legally getting married. So let us pray. Dear God, please let this ceremony not be too long or too boring. Can I get an amen? Can I get it? Amen. It is so because Sherry and John are anything but boring. So it's time to take you all through cyberspace and time to the wedding of John and Sherry. Words can say. Love has brought us to this day. Now with joy we make our story. Nothis Patrol. Joyce, Ron, are you shopping Nothis yet? Excellent. Rings here. Yes. Got the rings. Glass ready to break. There. Glass is on set. Very good. Everybody here looks ready. So let's make a wing. Yeah. How do I get this back? Young, long. Oh my God. It's all relative to you. No Bless those who come in the name of the one. Uh, Reverend Sue, you'll have to mute yourself until we bring you on, please. And it's okay. I'm making breakfast. I know, but we're hearing everything, so mute your phone, darling. This is the official sacred muting of the phone. <laughs> uh, you'll have to remember I have imaginary Lysol, and I am now spraying all of the screen and disinfecting the sacred space. Bless those who come in the name of the one. Ruchim habayim b'shem Adonai. Ruchim habayim tachat kanfei hashachina. Ruchot habaot tachat kanfei hashachina. May you be blessed beneath the wings of shachina. Be blessed in love. Be blessed in peace. May you be blessed beneath the wings of Shahina. Be blessed in love. Be blessed in peace. Dreams do come true. 
the dreams of your parents, your family, your friends, and yourselves. That each of you would find that one special person, a beloved partner to spend all of your lifetime with. The Bible sings to us from the book of Ecclesiastes. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And the time to every purpose under heaven. And here we are, John, Sherry, under heaven. And this is the time. And this is the season. Time suspends, it stops, and we enter sacred space together. This is the holiest moment in the world. This moment is the holiest moment in the world. And this moment is the holiest moment in the world. We celebrate and we sanctify this transition. Your transition from a loving, committed partnership into the full bloom of a spiritual and a legal marriage. Sherry, daughter of Joyce and of Ron. John, son of John and Florence. We are here to witness your sacred marriage vows at this holiest moment in time. A time for important questions. Are you ready to commit your lives to each other legally, financially, and playfully? Now take a moment. Consider the depth of this commitment, the strength it requires of each of you, and the strength it will give you when you make it. And then with all your heart, with all your energy, with all your soul, together in unison, affirm, I am. I am. Then so it is. So it is. Marriage begins in the giving of words. As you give your word, you give your lives to each other. Sherry, John, do you each pledge to bring the very best that you are into this marriage? If so, answer, I do, together. I, I do. do. Then please join your hands and face each other. Wait for it, John. John, do you take Sherry, whose hands you hold, to be your wedded wife, and do you promise? Promise to live with her, walk and talk with her, work and play with her, love, honor, and be faithful to her? If so, answer, I do. I do. Sherry, do you take John? whose hands you hold to be your wedded husband? And do you promise to live with him, walk and talk with him, work and play with him, love, honor, and be faithful to him? I do. Then John, please repeat after me in a loud and loving voice so that people all over cyberspace in this backyard can hear. Because as you know, we are six feet apart except from your beloved. <laughs> Sherry. Sherry. I take you. I take you. As my beloved wife. As my beloved wife. And my dearest friend. And my dearest friend. I promise. I promise. To share my life openly with you. To share my life openly with you. I promise. I promise. To speak the truth. To speak the truth. The truth to you in love. The truth to you in love. I promise. I promise. To honor you. To honor you. And to tenderly care for you. To tenderly care for you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise. I promise. To cherish you. To cherish you. Sherry. Please repeat after me. John. John. I take you. I take you. As my beloved husband. As my beloved husband. And dearest friend. And dearest friend. 
I promise, I promise to share my life openly with you. I promise to speak the truth to you in love. I promise to honor you and to tenderly care for you. From this day forward, I promise to cherish you. Now, there are questions for you too. And if your answers are yes, then shout out, we do. Do you promise to love and nurture and support this couple in their life together? We, we do. do. And furthermore, do you promise to encourage their dreams, relieve them of their fears, and offer them advice even when they don't ask for it. We do! Oh, yeah! Wait a minute. Thank you. John, please turn your left hand palm up. We're going to do a little bit of wedding choreography, and we're going to toss the bouquet to Mama because it's going to be very difficult to do this otherwise. Six feet, six feet. Ah, all right. Parents open. Now, place both rings, John, on your left palm. Left palm, left, yes, good. Sherry, place your left palm down over John's hand and the rings. Sherry, hold them really tight. You wanted a short ceremony. If we have to look for the rings and the wood chips, that goes out the window. Got it. Now, in just a moment, you're both going to place your rings on your beloved's fingers. But before you do that, please take a deep breath, hold it in, and slowly close your eyes now as you exhale. And please, please leave your eyes closed down now, facing each other, holding the rings. Leave your eyes closed down until I tell you to open them again. My friends, focus on this feeling. The feeling of marrying the one you truly love. Inside this feeling is a word, a sentence, even a color, or an image. Those words, colors, or images are connected to the power, the power you feel right now. Send this power, this special blessing, send it into your wedding rings with all your strength, with all your might, with all your love for one another, and with all your joy in this holy moment. And when you're satisfied, when you know that you have truly blessed these rings, then nod your head. Now open your eyes, keep a tight hold on the rings, lean over towards each other, and whisper these special ring blessings into each other's ears so no one else can hear them. Now, please place the rings on each other's ring finger on the left hand, on each other's left hand. Now take your left hand and face each other. Take the left hand, the one that has the ring on it, place it on your beloved's heart, your beloved's heart. Uh, John, a little bit more centered later for that. Okay. <laughs> later. Thank you. Very good. Later. Oh, my God. Now, 
John, take your right hand and place it over Sherry's hand on your heart. And Sherry, place your right hand over John's hand on your heart. This moment, this moment now, is the holiest moment in the world. Repeat after me, John. Sherry, Sherry. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign for all to see. As a sign for all to see. Of my commitment to you. My commitment to you. With this ring. With this ring. I join my life. I join my life. With your life. With your life. And Sherry, you're next. John. John. Thank you for my beautiful ring. Thank you for my beautiful ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign for all to see. Of my commitment to you. With this ring, I join my life with yours. And now place the rings on each other's fingers. We did that already. Repeat after me. Rinse, wash, repeat twice. All right. <laughs> now, in unison, together, repeat after me, together. As I give you my hand to hold. As look, I give you my hand to hold. And keep looking at each other. I'm not worth it. I give you my heart to keep. I give, give you my, my heart, heart to keep. keep. With this ring. With this ring. I promise. I promise. My love and loyalty. My love and loyalty. And now looking into each other's eyes holding each other's hearts in your hands, feeling the power of the words that you've just spoken, it is at this very holy moment, Sherry and John, that you have become husband and wife. And you may seal these secret words, these sacred words, seal them with a face maskless kiss. Oh, really? <laughs> Highly irregular. <laughs> Sherry, John, Mass, on. Dr. Sue Rubin has been waiting. 20 years or more to share this moment with her adopted daughter and bless this union. Dr. Sue. Thank you so much. Dearest Sherry, dearest John, we go back a long time and I think it is no accident that extraordinary people deserve an extraordinary time in which to truly together the power of love and the presence of love that really only starts within. So I believe with all my heart that there are no accidents the two of you are standing here this time and in this place. Just know that always that which is beyond what you can see is what's happening now. The development, the deepening of the presence and power of the divine showing up as your sacred connection marked by this partnership, the sacred partnership called marriage. No two can become one. So I believe that, as a poet said, that love is the dedication to give your life to your own and to your partner's spiritual growth and to discover from that growth the deeper ways to be honest, to be in it intimacy that is beyond anything you've ever seen before, to know that each one of you has a purpose, and that purpose is fulfilled by supporting and loving each other towards the common purpose, which is the sacred partnership that develops over the course of time and blesses everyone in your midst. And I would just like to read you from what the prophet Gahal Gibran had to say about marriage. And here it is, and I quote, What of marriage, Master? And the answer is, You were born together, and together you shall be. I, who shall be.
shall be together even in the silent memory of God. And yet, not too close together. Let there be spaces in your togetherness. Let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but not make a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, be joyous, but let each of you also be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music, give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life of God can contain your hearts, and stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And so that marks a new beginning of a deeper respect, a deeper honoring of all that you are. So I know that I am embracing you, Sherry, with all my heart and love and gratitude for all of our times together, the memories we made that you made with your partner, and that new memory book that is opened as of today. So I know right here and right now, the presence of God as love is fully enlivened and initiated into a new level of creative intelligence, power, joy, honesty, integrity, spontaneity, and the laughter that comes from the spirit within under all circumstances of all times, willing to support and encourage and know that each one's answer remains within itself while yet each other can serve as a mirror to each other knowing that all good emerges from this moment. This is a new beginning, and it is the beginning of that which personifies the greater expression of the spirit of life itself, proclaiming, these are my beloved, in whom I am so very well pleased, and bundled up all my love, blessings, and biggest virtual hugs. And so it is. And so it is. So it is. Love you. And as Dr. Sue has marked and honored this moment, we gratefully acknowledge the highest power in the universe and recognize God's blessing. God's grace is not a light switch we turn on and off with magic words in a foreign language. We know that God is always blessing you. We simply open in prayer and in faith to affirm God's grace gratefully, and we receive the blessings fully conscious of them. God blesses you and safeguards you. God's light lights up your way. God's face is always turned towards you and brings you peace each day if you can make your hands like this live long and, and if you can place them on the sides of each other's head and put your foreheads together normally i would be doing this <laughs> Shalom, shalom, 
Continue to create a home together, a home where hearts overflow with love and generosity and kindness. Now, John, when you break that glass, it's changed forever. The same way a permanent change has taken place in your lives this afternoon. Breaking that glass today symbolizes all our hope. The hope this will be the only break in your marriage. A reminder that relationships are as fragile as glass, that your marriage must always be treated with care. And when the glass is broken, you know your line, we all yell mazel tov. So get a hold of the glass, but don't stop on it yet. I'll give you the signal, John. Position the glass properly, far away from the cantor's hand, that's good. Okay. Now. By the authority granted to Dr. Sue Rubin and to me as clergy by the state of California and just as importantly by the power of your love, your love for each other, I now legally pronounce you husband and wife. May you continue to love one another forever. I am overjoyed to introduce to the world this married couple John and Sherry. <laughs> Yay! And you don't need a cue for what comes. No, 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 no. Oh, first things first. Oh. I just said you're married. What do you do? Mask down. Oh. All right, you've been practicing for a while. Let's see it. All right. Okay, now, John, now is the moment. Break that glass. Mazel tov! Simmon tov, a mazel tov, a mazel tov, a simmon tov, simmon tov, a mazel tov, a mazel tov, a simmon tov, simmon tov, a mazel tov, mazel tov, a simmon tov, yehelanu. And thus prepared the wedding of John and Sherry has miraculously and immaculately taken shape with not only the essence, but the full spirit of Dr. Sue Rubin Yay. here from cyberspace and from her home. And the parents. God bless you <laughs> real good, Joyce and Ron, Thank you. for having come to this day in full health and full vitality to be here together. Wouldn't miss it. And Sherry and John, from Dina and me, thank, thank you for you. being this incredible thank blessing thank into our backyard. Oh, thank Amazing. you. Thank you so much, thank, thank you, Dina. Thank, thank you, you, Sherry. Bless all the best. Love you. Thank you. My uh, you. assistant rabbi is here now, <laughs> Minnie Me. He's, he's come to help. Minnie oh Me God. is going to say goodbye to all the people in Sire Space. <laughs> I know, I know, the Grecian <laughs> formula is a little bit too much. But if oh. you've enjoyed this beautiful ceremony. I'm going to ask Sherry's permission. I'll, I'll quickly ask her. Sherry. Congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, I'm not going to put this on Facebook. No, no. blessing for people who watch Sure. Okay. So, we're going to have a cyberspace reception, and you would have been here. And so, the closest thing we can get you to hugging and kissing and showing your love and, and, and your wonder at this marriage take a video of yourself and post it to Sherry's page. So tonight, they can scroll through all those blessings and all your songs and all your delight, 30 seconds to a minute, please, she doesn't have all night, and enjoy a it virtual wedding, wedding night. Right, as John said, they're, they're, you're gonna be they're busy, folks, apart. so you know, don't overstay your welcome. God bless you real good out in cyberspace. Minnie Me and I wish you Good Shabbos, oh peace, stay safe, stay healthy, and be a blessing to each other. Yay.
good thing. Sherry and John, we're going to conclude today's sanctification and celebration with the temporal sanitation and disinfectation <laughs> because now that you're a husband and wife come over here please follow me okay. follow me to the special place oh yes yeah. you may now wash each other's hands please the washing <laughs> of each other's hands now many ceremonies many ceremonies include blending of sand and lighting candles and reverend sherry who's here who made this all possible actually once officiated a peanut butter and jelly spreading and melding oh, ceremony. Oh, really? Really? Be yeah. glad we didn't so put no, out peanut butter and no, jelly but today. It was, it was disgusting. Oh, okay, let me put it They thought it was funny. I thought it was disgusting. We do this at home. <laughs> do you really? Oh, no. Yeah, you know why? Because we have Oh, oh that's funny. Yeah, you, can ask, you can rinse my hand. <laughs> I still got so Oh, oh yep. Yeah, there's two of you now, Sherry. In the words of the sacred 80s song, it's special, so special. Thank <laughs> you. And you can hear Sherry singing that song at the Canyon Club as soon as this facocta quarantine yes, is over. Exactly. Thank you. But that made it so special. That was like the perfect icing on the cake. God knew. Cake. God knew to, for Mark, Mark to call me before I gave it away. Right. Thank you, thank exactly. you, thank you. And this, this weather? I know. Perfect. Six feet, guys, six feet, six feet, Dana, come on. Six feet, Dana, yep. you of all people. Yeah. I John, did. if you have a plumbing problem, I know a urologist. So <laughs> ah. I'm off to pack box. I mean, unpack yeah, boxes. Unpack. Thank you. Bye-bye, Sherry. Text me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Happy Thank trails. You. The Reverend Sherry out, the right Reverend <laughs> Sherry out, Mark, <laughs> heading back to the South Bay. All right. Okay. Wow. Now with joy we make a story 